Welcome back to another episode of Hospitality Hex Pro Podcast. A little different episode today. Going to switch it up on you. Today I have with me my wonderful co-host, sister of mine in real hello, life, hello. y'all. Um, <laughs> qualified server and bartender in her own right. Uh, restaurant manager in a past life. And co-author of the book, Above mm. Average Service. All right, 10 keys to unlock repeat guests and increase sales for your restaurant. We have in the house, Sedrine Jocks. Say what's up to the people. Oh, no cheering, no cheering, please. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's just me. I'm Sedrine. It's okay. nice to meet you all. Excited for this podcast. Let's get it going. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get it going indeed. So, like I said on the intro, we're doing something a little bit different to he- today. This is my first time ever having a co-host, so <laughs> y'all let me know how y'all like that. Uh, and we're going to review a video of when my sister and I went out to eat and we videotaped the pretty much entire service encounter. So we're going to replay the video, watch it along with you all and give you um, our tips, tricks, tidbits, hacks, if you will, of what we would say to that server if we were the, were the manager of that server, how we felt from a guest perspective, mm-hmm. uh, and kind of anything that comes to mind from our combined 40 plus years of um, restaurant service experience. All right. Uh, so if y'all have questions about anything that we say, comments, need feedback on anything, feel free to drop it down below. You ready for this, sis? Ready as I'm gonna get. <laughs> All right, and audience, be gentle. This is our first time doing this, and we have had no dry run, so we coming in hot. All right, <laughs> we coming in hot. So if I mess up with the camera changes, or the audio is crazy. Uh, this is the first one, so just just um, it'll get better as we go. All right, so uh, this first little cut. Oh, look at that wonderful close up. That looks like the side of my face. Uh, yep. It's us walking into the restaurant. All right, so. Um, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to pause as we go along, sis. So if it's a um, certain area you want me to pause or if you need me to rewind, just let me know. Okay? All All right. All right. I mean, it's not super hot. I'm going to fast forward a little bit, I think. We were discussing whether or not we should sit outside. Um, Obviously, this is not wintertime yet. It's cold and raining now. All right. Let's see. Let me fast forward a bit. What's now, up? this is a place that I had been to several times and you had never been, uh, yeah. if I recall correctly, right? Correct. Correct. So this is, uh, we won't name the restaurant, um, but this is a restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia, um, seafood based majority menu. Mm-hmm. You'd been there. I had not we said, hey, let's try it out. Mid price. What's the average entrees? 20, 25, yeah. maybe. Yeah. A very relaxed atmosphere. Okay. Um, not too bougie, but not too cat like kind of a bar a seafood bar kind of feel. Yeah. All right. Ish. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We're inside now. Okay, thank you. So I think one of the servers like greeted us while she was uh, on her way to do something else, which I appreciate, you know, Hey, if there's no host up front or somebody working the door, you know, if a team member's passing by, Hey, how you doing? We'll be right with you. Any of that is acceptable. Um, say something to me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was I definitely a seat yourself type situation. I think she said, just grab whatever table I had never eaten inside. So that was a new experience for me, but, um, yeah, she was just like, seat yourself. Somebody will be with you. Now, I personally don't like the seat yourself situation because no. I feel like if I sit, I don't know how that rotation is going to happen, right? And maybe I'm thinking too far into it, but who's who's the server that's going to take care of me? Do they have a section? Or are they just doing a raw rotation? Like whatever table comes in next, that's mine because it's my turn. I don't like when my servers are ripping and running all over the place. They also had an upstairs, so they had an upstairs, downstairs, and an outside, mm-hmm. um, which is a lot of traveling. That's a lot. Uh, I, I like my server to be focused on one little boop, boop. This is my universe right here. All right, let's keep it rolling. We'll go for boots with the margarine. 
Fast forward a little bit. So we're getting settled in. Fast forward, nothing exciting happening there. Are you ready? Yep. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, all right. So I think I skipped past the Greek, so I'm yeah. going to line back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go you back did. a little bit. <laughs> I was waiting I on that part. <laughs> in the future, audience, I will have time code marker notes so I know exactly where to go in the video. But we about to roll with this right here right now. Let's see. All right. Our little niece, my little niece is with us. Who you hear in the background? I thought that baby sounded familiar. <laughs> Shout out to Drea. Are you, ready? you asking me if I'm ready? Give me these while I'm thinking about it. Oh no, you was asking if we was rolling. I think. Did you get the kids situated? I'm supposed to be talking to her when she gets off work. Okay. I'm hoping. They'll to where so the yellow one is for the sessions and this is for exhibitors oh we we're talking about the uh yeah yeah conference mm -hmm. such an exciting time <laughs> Well, I'll just review the Greek because I remember it and I don't know where it is on this video. I don't think any specific appetizers or drinks were offered. I think it was like a, hey guys, welcome. What can I get you? Which, uh, not ideal. Not an ideal table Greek. Uh, time out. Did we already, are we already at the spot where the table and windowsill was dirty or... Uh, don't think we've got there yet. Okay, let's let it keep rolling. That was definitely Ooh, gross. Okay, first of all, I got it for you. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, you were tasting Drea's pink lemonade. She wasn't happy about it. It's a quality control check, Drea. It's okay. Tastes like high That lemon on top looks like somebody's been sucking on it already. <laughs> These are definitely about three days <laughs> ago. So if you didn't catch that. <laughs> You heard me complain about the lemon because I'm the closest to the mic. Then Sis jumps in and says, yeah, definitely like, what'd you say? Three-day-old lemons? Three-day-old, at least. <laughs> they were soggy, wilted. Yo, 24 bad. hours? Okay. You know, but when you get to day two, day three, just let them go. Cut some fresh lemons. It's okay. It's okay. Just let them go. <laughs> to my bartenders, my servers, please cut fresh let lemons. Let it I went, go. Let it be. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, so you mentioned something about them being partially frozen. Yes. Yeah, so when you freeze citrus, even if it's by accident or whatever, if they're not frozen solid, if, if their fridge is too cold, they'll get soggy fast, like super fast. And it looked like they were frozen and then thawed back out or something. I'm not sure. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. All right, let's go. So the oysters they yell when I was telling you about, but they also have the oyster salad they give you two of each of their kinds. Okay. Good thing I was out to eat with you, sis. The server wasn't describing the food to me, but you have my back. <laughs> I <laughs> did. I did. I was offering appetizers and everything. Let's, you helped his check average. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even play with the sample. Anymore. 
Oh, oh, I'm taking There a you go. You found it. Just go straight for the one you know. Yes, dear. Why you fade off? You become starting out real strong. Strong. Now, I guess we didn't talk. Did we talk about the dirty window seal or did I just take I a picture? thought we did. Maybe we talked I'm about it. Pretty sure after. we did. I definitely have to go find that picture though, because I definitely took a picture. Of it. Well, see, that's why I thought you we discussed it when we first sat down before the oh. Greek, because I remember you asking them, could you, could y'all like wipe the table and whatnot? Listen, so I think just, we missed the component the, there. Okay, well, just know it was crusty, y'all. It was crusty, uh, dusty and crusty. I, I think there was a piece of glass. There was a dead um, dead fly, wasn't it? I don't I know. It was a, it, it I have to go back something. and look at that picture. It was like a piece of glass or something. Anyway, it was bad enough for me to be like, um, nah, no love has been shown to this section. That should be part of your closing side work. It kind of goes that. back to the seat yourself thing, though. Like, what if we just sat at a dirty table? How do we know it's been turned over or sanitized or anything, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it may have just been like a strong pre bust. Like, we have no, no idea. Facts. Facts. No wipe down happened yet. And mm -hmm. then if that's nobody's section, nobody is taking ownership of that section because everybody's mm -hmm. doing everything everywhere. Who does that fall mm -hmm. on? Right? right. So, yeah. Valid point. Let me see if it'll play if I press the space bar. No, it took me back. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. There you go. Phone ring number one. Yeah, Listen, that was bothering you. <laughs> Oh, he never said. Well, you spoken so highly of delicious. Numero threes. Y'all ain't trying to make no money. I mean, I trust your judgment if you say you go straight for the for the gusto. Which one is Unless we do two. And that second ring, y'all. Somebody, third ring. Somebody should be answering the phone. It's money calling. You right there, buddy? Money I worked. I've worked in places that just turn the ringer down so it doesn't disturb their guests. Yeah, that's code for <laughs> we don't want to answer the phone. <laughs> that's code for I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> like, are they not guests on the phone? I'm, I'm confused. At least they didn't unplug it. I mean, that would be even worse. But mm, yeah, <laughs> Bad, it, 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 close second cousin. Okay, listen. Second or third ring, y'all. That could be to-go orders. That could be a customer complaint that needs to be addressed. That could be some a supplier calling, saying, hey, we have an issue with your truck. That could be anybody calling. The phone's just ringing and ringing and ringing. Second or third ring, somebody need to get it. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Let's go. First of all, let's pause. He comes back and says, Hey, can I get anything for you? Again, no suggestion. Then mm -hmm. you ask them for a specific item because sometimes they don't have it. Is that what the... It has been sold out or they couldn't get it in or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's my favorite appetizer, so I always have to ask, so I won't be disappointed if they're out. I just thought it was interesting. He was like, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, calm down. Not too much. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you don't have it, and that's Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you know that's like if it's a high popular item or selling yeah. out quick, high demand <laughs> high demand item it's good that it's selling out but don't act like y'all just always be having it 
Of course, of course. Oh. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> All right, let's go. Get an order of that. And then we want to do a sampler and the oyster sampler. Sure. And so then we'll, that's for appetizers. Yeah. 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 All right. What would you Very have done? lackluster. What would you have done next? He got the appetizer order and he's like, all right, cool. What would you have done next, sis? I mean, just basic is, you know, can I offer you a suggestion on your entrees? Do you have any questions about the menu before I go put your appetizer in? Like, even if you didn't want to upsell anymore, because you can oversell. Like, I get that. But being that you already knew one of these people, patrons, has not been here before, that would have been your time to start featuring some things if you hadn't done so at the Greek. Right, right. Totally agree. Totally agree. That's an opportunity to segue into the next portion of the meal. And uh, just know, I'll give you time to think about it. I'm not rushing you. I'm going to put your appetizers in. I always like to follow up with my guests on what I'm doing so they don't think I'm just wandering around aimlessly behind the scenes. Like, okay, great. Uh, when I come back, I'll get you refills, da 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 something. But just keep them abreast of what's going on, what's happening. I, I like to be informed, so, you know. So that's the thing. That's maybe just a personal preference. But that's Maybe I, that's also what I prefer. Don't leave me in the dark. I like to know mm -hmm. what's going on. And that's when you, you can avoid the guess like, oh, mm -hmm. uh, um... What's going, you know, the look around, you know, hey, they know what's there going on. There should be some sort of close out, though, when you leave the table. Like, it's very abrupt to be like, oh, okay, the oysters, and you're just gone. Like, yeah. so close it out some kind of way every single time. Like, all right, well, let me go put those in for you. I'll be right back to check on how we're doing with dinner. You know, something. Mm -hmm. it, it, it stops the awkward, like, pauses and just <laughs> walking away. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed, agreed. 100%. All right, let's see what's next. Cracker. I wonder if they use that same one for the. Discussing menu options. The appetizer is being prepared. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm singing along with the music. Music's not too loud, just right. That's important. I'll probably go with the group or that's what caught my eye first. At this point, I'm making suggestions. Thank you. For Tasha's entree. <laughs> Andrea she's, putting her two cents in. She's a lot more adventurous with her meals than me. Like once I find something I like at a restaurant, I'm ordering probably the same thing every time. <laughs> so I'm live I'm living through Tasha here. I'm 38. <laughs> Can you count that high? Phone again. I think that did they do better on this one? I don't know. We're at two. They might have got it. I think they got it on the second ring that time. Mm -hmm. Good job, bartender. I think it was the bartender. I 
imitation crab or actual? No, that's real crab. Real, okay, no, the, I only wanna... the only time we use imitation crab is in the cold crab dip. Okay. So that, that will be real crab inside the crab stuff. Okay, I'll, that's what I want to go for. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm going to do the low country foil. Do it. Yeah, because there's no way to add the, um, to the sampler, add corn and sausage to the sampler. You can just get a side of corn and a side of sausage. Yeah. If you like. Oh, well, let's do that. Okay, so would you want the seafood sample or the side of corn and the side of sausage? Yeah. Do you want Old Bay on it? Yeah. Yes. Actually, I'm sorry. Oh, good for all those. Let me just do the low country water. Low country water? Okay, do you want your seafood salad out now? Yeah, whatever. Thank you. Pause for the grace. Amen. Appetizers have hit the table. I believe at this time. He's got the entree order. I do like that he asked about the timing. Because that seems like a, a common sense thing. But a lot of times you order a house salad, Caesar salad, or whatever. And it hits the table either at the same time as your entrees or within two minutes uh, and the entrees come out, that's too rushed of a meal for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless I tell you, bring everything out together, bring it as it comes, but ask the question. Right. And that's something we discuss in the book, meal pacing, right? Mm -hmm. um, you don't want everything out at the same time. Now, personally, I think it's a little bit late to take the entree order as the appetizer is hitting the table. That's my yes. personal, I, uh, cause then you have less control over the pacing at that point. Um, I rather get it before control when I ring it in or hang the ticket, depending on the system, whatever, whatever. Uh, but you know, but to be depends. fair, the appetizers came out fairly quickly. So yeah, it depends on how long it takes the prep time to 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 get yeah. it out, whatever the entree is. So, yeah, okay, okay, our guy. I'm stuffing my face, and I think we didn't know his name. So, mm -mm. I thought it was weird that he kept passing by looking, but like not saying anything. Maybe it was me. <laughs> I think it was because you had your camera and he was nervous. That's what I think it was. <laughs> He's like, oh, is this somebody I'm supposed to know? Is this an influencer? What's going on? Secret shopper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now what? <laughs> it was a little weird, but he was, was nice. Strange. He was nice enough, but it was just like, okay, all right. <laughs> At least say some head nod something. I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. A little odd. And then the garlic parmesan was like, yeah. yeah. Keep in mind also, I'm drinking water with the three day old appearing lemons. <laughs> If it were me, I probably would have tried it one more time. Like, you you okay with the water? Did, did you want to eliminate or try to upsell a, a soft drink or bar drink? Maybe one more time. You try. You might have tried it one time at the beginning, but one more attempt wouldn't hurt anything. Mm -hmm. What you think? How you feel about that? Yeah, especially after somebody starts eating. Sometimes they want something with more flavor. Because mm -hmm. in my well, experience, a lot of times they'll order their secondary beverage after they get their appetizer or salad or be like, oh, I want a bar drink with my entree. You know, sometimes they just need to get something on their stomach first. You don't know mm -hmm. what kind of day they had. They don't want to go throwing back shots of tequila right away. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so just mm -hmm. just check back. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then sometimes bubbles, I don't drink soda very much uh, anymore, but a lot of people like to have some kind of bubbles too with their meal, uh, helps their, with their digestion. So a second attempt, never hurt. Never hurt. All right, let's keep it rolling. Still working on the appetizer. Oh, you were uh, talking about him walking back and forth staring at you. Yeah, he did ask me about the. I was using my phone, but the tripod was a little. Um, so I was using this little. <laughs> it is a little obtrusive, but you know what? I figured out now that I didn't know at that time. I can. Let me see, I can. Like remove the legs and make them shorter. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so I can make them whatever height I want, which is cool. I didn't know that at the time, so it was like the full length Ugh. of it. With the <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you know, you live and you learn. And now, let me show y'all what I got. Two. I need an affiliate link for this stuff in case y'all want to buy this stuff, huh? I got this as a gift, the GoPro. Okay. Okay. It's still fresh in the case. I haven't used it yet, but I'm feeling feeling legit. Look at real official, sis. Real official. So this is much smaller. Um, that's less intrusive, I think, than the phone. Let me show you. So let me show you how big the phone is. Since we're on this, I know some a couple people watch this who are um looking to get into podcasting and stuff. Y'all, I'm learning as I go, as you can see. So I was using this. Without the case, it looks a little bit smaller, but not much. But see the size compared. Yeah. So I think it'll be less less intrusive to use the GoPro. So future. Because it would be better if it wasn't as noticeable, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then this. But the only thing with this is, this is a handheld little, but I'm sure they, I probably can mount it. It has a shoe. So I'll figure that out. But the next time I shoot, I'll let y'all know how it go. <laughs> Something a little smaller. Okay. I'm messing around doing show and tell and it messed up my shot. Y'all hold on. Let me see. And we're back. All right. All right. Let's see. I'm looking around. I was gonna say, you're looking at everything. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm looking for, though? So sometimes, like, when you have lights that hang over the table, um, this is something I, they drilled in us at Red Lobster. You want to dust the inside of those yeah. lampshades, mm -hmm. inside, outside. Because mm -hmm. you don't want random dust falling in people's food. You mm -hmm. know, you never know how that buildup's going to react. So I'm just kind of like, mm, see what I can see, 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 you know, in that scenario. Gotcha putting this back before I lose it. I will lose it. Be like, where's the piece? Okay. So we're waiting on entrees at this point. Done with the appetizer. I think you're you've pretty much finishing or finishing up your salad at this point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Enjoy. 
So there was some teamwork happening, um, food running, which is great. What I did appreciate is the server, even though he saw the food had been just dropped off, he did do a follow-up to see if we needed any extra condiments or anything like that. Because a lot of times, you know, you're like, oh, great. Somebody ran my food out. I'll come back with the check. Nah, you want to make sure everything came out the appropriate temperature, the right items, all of that. So even though he didn't deliver our food personally, it was not an issue because he was there for the follow-up, which I did appreciate. Mm -hmm. But two-bite check, though. We That's what I was gonna. I was, yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I was gonna let the video play first. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm jumping no, all you, down the road. Listen, listen okay. that was next. That was next, though. The two bite check back. That was next. Is that okay? Once we got our food, had a couple bites, mm -hmm. had a chance to check, like you said, the taste, the quality, the temperature, all of that thing, all of those things. Make sure we got what we ordered. Um, that server should be coming back to check in again mm -hmm. at that point. Uh, and I don't think that happened, but we're going to give them a chance and roll the video. I don't again. remember. So This we'll video see. is, I don't know how many months old. Yeah. This was the time before the time before I was in Atlanta. <laughs> I had to go back and look and see how old this is and put it in uh, the comments so y'all can know. I mean, in the description, but I'm going to let it play uh, through a couple bites, but I don't think, I don't think homeboy came back. Let's see. Took a couple pictures of the food. I need to find these pictures. Right. <laughs> Maybe you can pop them in. Mm -hmm. So you getting the baby situated. I haven't actually, okay, there's the first bite for me. You got tater tots. Second bite for me. So surprised. She dropped it like a pot. Grits. Oh. Jalapeno grits. They do have some kick. <laughs> so it's about bite number four. And I started late because I stopped to take pictures and whatnot. So, you know, you were getting the baby situated and whatnot. So he had even more time, really, um, to come back for that check back. But it but it didn't happen after that, the first couple of bites there. So two by check back to see if your guest needs any condiments, napkins, everything's good with quality, everything's good with temperature, taste, um, super, super, super key. All right, let's see. Broccoli. Should be full of vitamins. <laughs> that look pretty raw. So here's the thing, you know, culturally, <laughs> we, we overcook our vegetables. <laughs> uh, culturally, we will cook some string beans, <laughs> greens, broccoli, especially the green vegetables. We will cook that stuff to death. It melt in your mouth, honey. Until it is no more vitamins available. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was talking junk because I said it should be plenty of nutrients because it, it was raw. It was crisp. It was fresh. Nothing yeah. wrong with raw. Bro I like raw Nothing. broccoli like in a salad, maybe. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's probably it. I don't know. Or in a slaw, even. Yeah. Which is still counts as 
I don't even do a veggie no. tray because, like, I'm expecting it to be raw. Like, yeah. little, little carrots, little celery, little broccoli. I'm good with yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lightly steamed. Lightly steamed. See, I was giving you an alternative adjective. You know, like if you were the server, oh, they're fresh, lightly steamed. You know, you gotta, uh, uh, uh. not they hard and crunchy. You, know. <laughs> you said this ain't it. Is that what you just said? I don't know. Is that what I said? I think so. We go back. <laughs> You want to try to do it first? Big on the other side? Okay. What side am I going to Closest to you? Grab stuff. See the steam? It's hot. Mm -hmm. Oh. Pretty even coverage. I wasn't floored by the food, but, or at least my selection, at least my selection. Mm -hmm. But like you said, I sometimes will venture out to try different things. And, you know, we funny about fish. Yeah. Yeah. So our dad was an avid fisherman. So we got It's it not fresh. fresh if it didn't flop around in your sink, you know? Right, 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 right. So <laughs> it's hard, hard to impress me with fish. Let's see. You're commenting on the cheese pool. Oh, Drea had grilled cheese. I okay. think, right? That she didn't Yeah. Eat. Yeah. She was like, you asked her if she wanted grilled cheese. And she was, cheese, 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 cheese. She didn't, <laughs> she didn't eat it. But she said the cheese pool was on point, though. Demonstration. <laughs> then bit that baby grilled cheese <laughs> quality control once again again I think at this point he still hasn't been back by right uh no not yet I he does I think check back in before bringing the check but I don't remember exactly at what point that happens. Okay. Um, but we got to be getting close because at this point, we almost halfway through the meal here. I didn't offer you a piece of mine. You didn't took a piece of the babies. We didn't, you know, did the whole thing. Don't judge <laughs> so, me. Don't I, judge me. I'm glad you got a bite because she sure didn't eat it. Right. So it's okay. <laughs> See. Fast forward through the chewing. <laughs> broccoli ought to be real healthy. Broccoli ought to be real healthy. Yeah, we're still crunching through that. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Uh, 
trying to skip to the part where he come back. Guess that's environment. Sustainability. Um, I have a, um, I have a digital business card. Well, you saw it. Okay, so I think I might have skipped. I did skip like 20 seconds ahead, but there was a point where, um, I guess you had a lot of shells and he came to empty the shells off the table. You remember that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, so he took the container, went to the bar, dumped it into the trash, brought the container back to the table. The same container, yeah. The same container. And I was like... <laughs> you said you didn't know how you felt about that or something. Yeah. I was like... Eh. <laughs> I almost want you to bring a fresh one because when you go to the trash and dump something out... The container could accidentally touch the trash can, and then you come and sit it back on my table. Yeah, eh, you know what I mean. Don't be knocking it against the inside of the trash can. <laughs> That'd have been like full stop. Wait a minute. Right. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't do that, but it no, made he me didn't. Think, he didn't. But it put me in that mind. Like I don't want to have to think about that. Right. I don't want to have to think like, did it touch the trash? And then. You're touching the shell. Hopefully, you went and washed your hands. Like it's just, it just made me think about too many things. So, but I, you know, okay, it's okay. Or yeah, I don't know. I would prefer if you brought something like a bus tub to the table or a bucket to the table, emptied it, emptied it, it, and then put it. Okay. Instead of taking it away from the table, first of all, going to another. The, even though the bar was right behind us, going to the bar, dumping in the trash, then coming back. I just once something leaves my table, I don't really want it coming back. I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, it. to keep each their own. <laughs> I got keep you. it. I'm good. <laughs> Little business card thing. If we want to collect that person's information, um, like if they have a restaurant, pull a fan. <laughs> but what I noticed um, the last several conferences and stuff that I went to like people don't really exchange business cards so much anymore it's more like oh let me follow you on IG they follow each other and send a DM or something oh okay lamination alright so I don't believe that I caught the close out but for the people, just to put a button on this, how would you close out your average, uh, as a server or bartender, your average service uh, experience when you're wrapping them up, getting them out? Is this before or after we're like boxing up stuff? Have we offered dessert? Have we done any of that? Let's pretend... We know uh -huh. he probably we know he probably didn't offer dessert because he didn't offer appetizers. But for the sake of to be devil's advocate, let's pretend you already offer dessert after dinner drinks, all that. And we're at this moment now where it's time to be like, okay, check. You ready for it? Like, what do we do there? Okay, so I generally, you know, I'm going to make sure everything tasted okay. You got your boxes, got your dessert, or whatever the case may be. And, like, if there's not anything else, I will be happy to get your check for you. Once we solidify that, and I'm bringing back the payment method, or if it's cash, you know, whatever, I want to make sure that I'm thanking the guests for coming in. I want to make sure I'm extending an invitation to come back. I'm going to reiterate what my name is, ask for me, and I am going to tell them it was a pleasure to have served you today and mean it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, that's the synopsis. It's not rocket science. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Um, good stuff right there. So that was our experience, guys. The only thing I would add to the closeout, potentially... Um, it, all of that was good. Definitely all that needs to be done. And then if you can use that person's name. So oftentimes oh, yes. people, mm -hmm. right, if they pay with a credit card, um, debit card, their name is on there. That's free information. Right. So thank you. You know, thank you, Miss Jackson. Appreciated you. Like you said, um, roll straight into that. Thanks. R reminding them of your name. 
make sure you come back, ask for me, all of that, hit all those points. People like to be recognized, validated. So using their name mm-hmm. helps with that. And um, that's like a perfect closeout right there. And, you know, come back and see me now. You hear? Yeah. What it up? What it up? <laughs> It'll be what it up. All right. So uh, anything else you want to add, sis, before we go ahead and close this thing out? No, I think next time we're going to do them timestamps so we can get all the pertinent video footage in. But overall, this was an average uh, service experience for me. Um, mm. Actually, not not one of the best ones that I've had at that particular location. Mm-hmm. I've had servers there that went above and beyond. This This is not what that was. It was average. We got our food in a timely manner. It was decent. It was good. And we left, but it wasn't memorable. No, not at all. And so happy you said that. So key that you said that. Wait, where's my prop? Okay, okay. She said it was an average service experience. Remember, folks, we're trying to be above average. <laughs> above average service is more money in your pocket as a server or a bartender. It's more money in your pocket as an operator. It keeps people wanting to come back. If my sister said to me, yo, you want to go back to that spot I took you to last time? You know, you had the oysters and da 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 da. I'm be like, eh. Let's eh, try something else. <laughs> let's try a different spot because it was average, an average service experience. But when you hit me with the above average service, even if the food is just okay, right? It keeps me coming back for more. All right. So make sure y'all cop that. Y'all see that? Woo. Woo. Yeah. yeah. There we go. There we go. Make sure y'all get that. Make sure y'all get that. It's the 10 keys to be above average. We shared several of them with you tonight in this broadcast. And like sis said, next time we're going to be a little bit tighter, but yo, it was the first one. Now I see where to improve. And that's what you got to do. Stick your toe out there, stick your neck out there, try some stuff, see how you can do better. That's in service. That's in life. That's in everything. Okay. Appreciate y'all for chiming in to the Hospitality Hacks Pro Podcast, and we will see you next time. Yes, definitely. Outro music. Like, comment, subscribe.